our dark universe detective returns with spectacular new views of the cosmos. The Euclid Space Telescope is building the largest cosmic atlas ever made. And in case you missed it, we already revealed the first page of this atlas. In this 208 gigapixel mosaic, you can zoom in endlessly. And now, the telescope has sent back three more of these huge mosaics. But before we show them, let's rewind. Why are we doing this? Euclid was designed to very precisely capture billions of galaxies to show the hidden influence of dark matter and dark energy. These make up 95% of our cosmos, but we don't know what they are. Now, with this treasure trove of information, we can explore all kinds of mysteries in the universe, from galaxies colliding to small stars forming. Today, we reveal Euclid's view of three new patches of sky. In these areas, Euclid will eventually make the deepest observations of its six-year mission, capturing light emitted billions of years ago to look back in time to when the universe was young. In only one observation of these areas, Euclid already mapped 26 million galaxies, up to 10.5 billion light years away. Are you ready to dive in? Let's first zoom in to Euclid's deep field north. We pass through clouds, stars and other objects in our own galaxy first. This deep field is an area very rich in Milky Way stars, as it is close to our galactic plane. The faint blue structures in the image are dim clouds in between the stars. Here, we have zoomed in 50 times and arrive at a famous nebula, the Cat's Eye, 3,000 light years away. A dying star is shedding its gassy outer layers in this planetary nebula. In this deep field, we also see many other galaxies, like this barred galaxy, almost 400 million light years away. Because Euclid is so sensitive and stable, it can make out the shapes of hundreds of thousands of galaxies in one view. Most of the tiny dots that you see are faraway galaxies. Let's explore Euclid's excellent view of galaxies in one of the other fields revealed today. We now zoom in to Euclid's deep field south. While going deeper, we first fly by a nearby elliptical galaxy, 55 million light years away. We can see many, many galaxies in this field, and they all have different colors which shows us that they have different ages and distances. We now arrive at this spectacular wide view of two clusters of galaxies. The clusters are huge and each contain thousands of galaxies. The one we are zooming into now is billions of light years away. We can see the light between the galaxies, light made of stars ripped off from the galaxies now wandering in intergalactic space. This field has not been observed yet by other deep sky surveys, so many of these galaxies are yet to be explored. We can clearly see an object here with arcs of light around it. This is a large and massive galaxy bending the light from an object far away behind it, an effect called gravitational lensing.
This is just the beginning. Because Euclid can make these enormously detailed maps, we slowly start to see how huge clusters of galaxies are connected to one another along strands of gas and invisible dark matter. This is the cosmic web. Until now, Euclid has observed about 14% of the total area of its six-year survey. Over the next years, it will cover one-third of the sky outside of the Milky Way. Just imagine what's still to come, and the secrets that Euclid will unveil about our dark universe. <laughs>